Hello my soccer universe. You know, not too long ago I made a video about how I dislike what Puma came out for away jerseys and you know, uh, a video basically saying Puma you are wrong. Recognizing fact Puma always pushes the boundaries. So, um, and this video, I not only want to show a collection, but I want to actually say in defense of Puma, there are, when they get it right, they produce some of the best jerseys out there and there are some Puma shirts that I really really love even Puma lines I decided to wear a Puma Lusk jersey because this is when I really fell in love with Puma but uh, you will not see this is the only Lusk jersey that you you will see I also want to point out before we go into uh, some jerseys that I show you the first real great jersey is hanging back there this sporting jersey 2008-2009 is absolutely gorgeous and i probably will need to do a separate video on it relatively soon uh one of the most surprising jerseys i got this year um just awesome it's an awesome jersey material wise and also design wise i absolutely love it uh which is the other thing this is more like now on the look i actually think puma has been also pushing the boundaries with the really tight fitting jerseys yes kappa was first but especially in the uh, 2010s puma started to really push that one forward as their identity i think in 2014 this is when the ultra tight range came out and they uh kind of popularized this but um before we get started, for me, the one thing that Puma is underusing in many ways is Adidas has the three stripes, Nike has the swoosh, which is not really a style ele element, but what Puma actually has for me, if you ask me a classic Puma jersey, is the form stripe on the shoulders. A little bit like the Adidas three stripes, but just filled in, which, yeah, I can understand why they want to get rid of it uh, a little bit because that came about i mean they're from the same town in germany the the brothers the two two brothers that didn't like it, it, each other there's a whole uh, other story adidas and puma are you know out of acrimony it was first adidas adidas i think and rudolf Dassel, the all all the brother made his own com comedy they're all in herzog aurach basically the town is split between puma and adidas and most importantly who is also from herzog aurach Lothar Matthäus, and I think he's on the Adidas side of things there. But yeah, the form stripe, I show you some recent examples where it has been introduced. We have here this Uruguay jersey from the 18 World Cup. You can see the dotted pattern here. It's a little bit hinted at, but it's not very, very strong. It was a little bit more present. But yeah, they tried to get the Puma styling in. I give you uh 1819 season the, the Gladbach shirt I wouldn't call, call, call it a great shirt but it's it's a, a decent Gladbach shirt it has this form stripe here uh which actually makes this a really nice jersey um I wish that the collar was not broken to be honest and then the last one uh the most recent example where they put it um on is on the 1920 kids when they put like this uh, this is a rubber patch i have here the uh, manchester city one this was all over this this is a little bit of puma styling my jerseys are falling down Paul, Paul, yes they're slippery so you see a little bit of that but all of these three would not be great kids where this form strap really worked uh very very well and where i loved it the most as of recent is of course the austria 2016-17 away jersey worn at the Euro 2016 and also at the Women's Euro in 2017 where in this one they made it all the way to the semis. It's when I saw this I knew this is this is the perfect Austria home jersey not away jersey home jersey Austria used to play in white this is get this puts me straight back to the 70s and 80s this is what I want an Austria jersey to look like there is this nice framing with the shoulder the only point of contention is that the eagle is by itself but at least we have an eagle and not a spider as we have on the recent uh shirts it is absolutely gorgeous yes plain but i absolutely love this one uh i knew this is what this was the euro 2016 jersey that i wanted to get um speaking of euro 2016 there's another really great one from our neighbors from switzerland also the away jersey it has the form strap but you cannot really see it but it's in the material when you break down the sleeve this one is amazing. This is, uh, when it comes to Swiss jerseys, you usually get a template in red and then a template in white. 
and then they come out with this absolute gorgeous beauty it has a little bit of france 1984 in there but with a very distinctive swiss identity totally love this jersey um very well designed definitely my other favorite jersey from those euros but you know without the form strip and i show you another austria shirt puma can still pull out great stuff i love the euro 2008 um the secondary template and with the floppy collar where they put the flag and this was also a hallmark of puma for uh, for the national national teams they always managed to put the flag somewhere and i really liked when they pulled it down the collar this austria jersey and also the italy away jersey it really works well the other feature that i really like of this one is this is how the austrian logo should look, look like and look at it how there's this shiny material below it and it's actually a double layer there's the black part the white part and the eagle are glued onto this red shiny part it makes it absolutely beautiful yes i don't have a proper number back there jersey foul and it's going off a little bit and we can discuss the gold but overall i think if this was red and not gold uh this would look even better but a really well crafted jersey and i as i said i especially like the collar uh, a little bit the floppy one so another great uh puma uh, jersey for national team european na national team the last one i want to pull is of course the crafted by culture range when it works well it works well i have to say of all the italy jerseys that came out there this is probably my favorite because uh it works with the colors the pattern we can discuss but i really like this one everyone goes crazy about the renaissance jersey when i saw this i saw yeah that's the one i want to have in the there is a little bit if they would color uh this patch where the, uh, the puma cat is on i think you would have the form stripe in there as well really nice great looking puma jersey however it's not european national teams where puma excels i think when i you know i lost puma a teeny little bit i have to say the 2006 churches were not my favorite uh although there are some nice stuff in there uh, and then 2000 you know after uh, starting with 2000 they came out with too many weird tam templates but when i fell in love again with puma not was you're not euro 2008 but when they came out with the africa range and in for the 2010 world, world cup and just as as an example uh there were two the and i tried try to collect the home jerseys where they had the white jersey with the nicely patterned uh back which you cannot probably see for all the glare but there's a nicely patterned ventilator back where they put the teams a uh, monica ba basically in on the strike out here in algeria you have the fennec it looks absolutely gorgeous i totally love it there was another one where they put some um you know some brush stroke effect before it became not popular with adidas and nike uh these days uh in 2012 they continued with this i have here south africa and i have made a whole africa all my Af african jersey so i'm not going to show you much but what i really like is that they kept kind of the team name or a little bit of a cultural heritage uh, or a uh, team name i mean uh south, south africa is the rainbow nation so i mean there are rainbows down there pretty sweet stuff uh template I think it's underrated i really like this and this is what probably nike wanted to copy so puma are the, are the uh, genesis of this band here but i think they did it a teeny bit better than what nike did in 2016 on honestly where the, i think the last time the puma really worked well for african teams is for the 2014 world world cup where they went with um, you know pottery or cave paintings uh, all over print it worked great for Cameroon I think it works wonderful on this Ghana jersey uh Cam uh called Cote d'Ivoire only had, had it here which I thought well, well, was a shame that was that was the last really great Puma Africa range I gotta say uh I absolutely love this one so that's another great Puma shirt but we're not only having uh national national jerseys also club jerseys and honestly i don't have that many club jerseys i mean i showed you the two last jerseys they are now supplying my other favorite team milan and i have to say for home jerseys they have been doing quite well uh the recent one i'm a little bit split on that that's the first one where i'm saying okay this is not great uh but i, but I think good good job have been this disappointed to me is for the white jerseys they just cannot get this one right uh for, for whatever reason however the standout item is clearly 
1920 home jersey. What a perfect Milan jersey this is. Yes, I personally, if you ask me, I like my Milan striping maybe double the width here. A little bit thicker, that's maybe my favorite. But uh, the thin striping is, the, is, my, is, my, is my second favorite. I love this one. When I saw this, I knew I need to have this this one because this is the classic. It's, it's a classic 90s or jersey. You don't have the sleeves in a single color. The sleeves have the same pattern. This doesn't happen any anymore. I love this. It's an absolute, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shirt. Yes, there is no much. And I think they're underusing the devil. They should keep the devil, honestly. This is so beautiful, beautiful and it's also the last one where they fly Emirates sponsored. The new Emirates fly better is ugly. This one, there is a certain elegance to it, even though it's two lines. This, to me, is my favorite recent Puma jersey, a uh, bar none. There is not, uh, at least on the club level. But also previously they have released some of them. I, mean, I could have shown you now the Marseille one, uh, Marseille one but I want to show you another one that I have where it's not necessarily a traditional look. They took a traditional look and put a little spin on it. And this is this, I think, 1718 Bordeaux home. Yes, we can discuss the sponsor, although I don't mind it. But they took the chevron pattern of Bordeaux, dotted it all up. It still looks very much Bordeaux. Uh, had a nice color. The form strap is in the fabric in there, but this is a really, really well done Puma jersey. If Puma gets it right, you cannot argue much with it. Yes, uh, the sponsor maybe invite, I think the current sponsors for Bordeaux are better, but if you take the sponsor out, isn't that a perfect Bordeaux jersey? I would say it is. So as I said, if Puma gets it right, and I have more national team, way more national team jerseys for Puma uh, than I have club jerseys, uh, which is not smart <laughs> in many ways. But yeah, uh, if Puma gets, gets it right, they do tend to produce outstanding work. So let's see. I hope that uh, this blip with what they have now for the third jersey with the, the team team name is just temporarily and then they will awe us again with a great, great jersey release coming up. Um, let's see, sometimes hit, sometimes miss. Puma is always pushing the boundaries and sometimes they get it totally right, like with the Africa Af range, sometimes it's blunders, like as I said, uh, with the current uh, national team away jerseys and the uh, new third jersey range that they will pull out for the 21-22 season. In any case, I want to know what you think about Puma jerseys in general. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Drop a line below on if what, what you think are great Puma jerseys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!